Many everyday objects have patterns we can pick out, such as designs on tiles, bicycle wheel spokes, or a repeating pattern printed on a material or wallpaper. When we look at the night sky, we see countless stars. Ancient people were able to look at the sky a lot, and they came up with patterns which became known as constellations. All cultures have looked at patterns in the sky and from them have created their own constellations. This is a First Nations constellation called Niska, the goose. Here's another First Nations constellation. The animals and objects pictured in constellations have played a central role in myths and stories passed down through the ages. We can also look for patterns when shown a set of numbers. Looking at these numbers, can you see an obvious pattern? Probably not. There is no real pattern here. But if we rearrange the order, we can certainly recognize this pattern. It is the numbers 1 to 21, in order from smallest to largest. Let's rearrange these numbers again. Can you see a pattern here? You can probably see that we've just counted backward from 21 to 1. So in some patterns, the numbers increase, while in others, like this one, they decrease. Let's look at this set of numbers. Can you see any pattern here? The first thing you might notice is they are all odd numbers. Notice that to go from 1 to 3, we add 2. And to go from 3 to 5, we also add 2. To go from 5 to 7, we add 2. And to go from 7 to 9, we also add 2. Similarly, starting at 9, we add 2 to each number to get the next number. Because we added 2 to each number to get the next number, we say there is a common difference of positive 2 in this set of numbers. Looking at these again, can you guess what the next number will be? The common difference is plus 2, so we just add 2 to 15, and we get the number 17. We could keep on adding 2 to each number we get in order to get the next number, and we can go as far as we want. Have a look at this set of numbers. Can you see a pattern here? You have probably seen that as we move from left to right, each number is 5 less than the previous one. So we say there's a common difference of negative 5. When numbers steadily decrease, the common difference is a negative number. As you might imagine, we can come up with many different patterns of numbers with common differences. Can you come up with the common difference in this set of numbers? Look at them for a while. We see that the common difference is positive 8. If you got that, how did you calculate it? As you proceed through this course, you will be introduced to some terms that describe the various numbers and common differences in number patterns. You will also be introduced to an equation that you can use to predict the value of any new number that fits into a particular pattern. These things are very useful in math and problem solving.